Another look from the International Space Station recorded about four hours ago. The uh, station is flying towards the South Pacific region. Where we have Invest 98P to the southwest of Tropical Cyclone Gita, which is at present a Category 2 system. And here's the latest Tropical Cyclone Gita Center 980 millibars Category 2 located near 14 decimal 6 degrees south 171 decimal 8 degrees west and is currently moving east at 15 knots and intensifying. Expect sustained winds of 55 knots close to the centre, increasing to 65 knots. Samoa. Tropical cyclone warning, Cat 2, 55, 72 miles per hour, now in force for northern areas of Samoa. Reports of damage are coming in. Tropical cyclone warning, Cat 1, 39, 54 miles per hour, remains in force for southern areas of Samoa. This has been extracted from the Met Service. Heavy rain warning remains in effect for Samoa. Flooding and landslide, landslide possible for vulnerable areas. Flooding is already taking place. Radio New Zealand has got some information on the system. Flood advice remains in effect for low-lying coastal areas. And here's the Fiji's uh, cyclone chart. And they have it reaching cap to late on today. Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. And what has my uh, eye is the green shaded area, which is the cone of uncertainty. There's no doubt that Fiji is in... Uh, to experience severe weather. And look at the NOAA floaters on Gita so far. And she could be attempting a eyewall development. And we should keep in mind that to its or her southwest or south southwest is Invest 98P. And if Gita was uh, to absorb the energy from uh, 98P, intensity of the cyclone could increase considerably. Sea surface temperatures around 29 to uh, 31 Celsius. I look at the short wave. We will have a look at 
Invest 98 in our next update, along with 99P to the south east of Port Moresby. And look at the Fiji's radar. This was also recorded a few hours ago. The time and date stamp is the right hand side of the screen and the rainfall intensity. We'll also be keeping an eye on the, the various uh, radars sites in Fiji it's far too early to say whether it's going to impact the area west of New Caledonia and including the North Island and New Zealand upper level divergence is a very healthy uh, 20 to 60 knots A look at wind shear. And wind shear is not a issue at this point in time. Now here's the uh, shear tendency and tropical systems love the area in blue and green. The A50 millibar vorticity Now we have a look at the GFS total accumulated precipitation The models are absolutely uh, crazy at this point in time We Tropical Cyclone Gita They're all over the place and it's not worthwhile uh, showing. When there is uh, some alignment, we'll make uh, the various models available. And again, it's the area in yellow. Now this is the icon model. And if you follow the the rainfall you know, tracking towards uh, Fiji, New Caledonia, and that's out to 180 hours. The Icon model has only been on the radar for a few weeks. This is a current. service chart or it's the earlier one it has been updated we'll show that in the next update this is a the latest view about two hours ago of the space station flying up to over the South Pacific. And hopefully in my next uh, update I might have another update from the space station. I'm currently uh, viewing viewing it on another uh, computer. Stay tuned to Force 13's AU channel for updated information. We'll make it available as soon as possible.
You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094.